right, time to see how my heart's doing. I've got a heart rate monitor on and it feeds to my watch kind of mid 70s beats a minute at the moment. It's not gonna stay like that for long. All right, Mike, let's do this. there is a community of researchers supported by AXA who are looking into all major risks just like these and how we can prevent them and one of them thinks that your heart can get some help from airplane engineering. It's all about flow dynamics so I'm off to Paris to meet a cardiovascular engineer called Professor Barakat. <laughs> Welcome to Paris. Time to get a cab to the lab. So, Professor Barakat, I hear you're looking at brand new treatments for heart disease. What do we do currently? Uh, if you have blocked arteries, we commonly use as a small medical device called a stent. And the stent is basically a, a small metallic cage that serves as a scaffold then in the artery to hold it open and restore blood flow. Stents are very commonly used today. There are about 7 million stents implanted in people per year worldwide. But the, they, they, they have an unacceptably high uh, failure rate. So what are the current problems with this treatment? Basically the development of blood clots where the stent is implanted. And this is what we call thrombosis. And it's a really serious complication because it's fatal in about 50% of the cases when it occurs. This is actually where airplanes come in. So what we're trying to do is use concepts from airplane engineering to try and reduce the problems with stents. Genius. I mean, they're two completely different areas. Yeah, you would think they are. Airplane designers and airplane engineers have been studying flow around airplane wings for a long time. And the idea, of course, is to design the wing in such a way to minimize flow disturbance. And this is what they've come up with. This airplane wing shape is perfect for smooth flow. OK, David, hit it. You can see how cleanly the air moves over the top of the aeroplane wing shape. Just a small obstruction like my hand causes all sorts of turbulence in the air. And this is Professor Barakat's big idea. Putting a stent into an artery disrupts the blood flow in just the same way as putting an aeroplane wing into the air. So he wants to take the tried and tested techniques and principles of aeroplane engineering and apply them to stent design. So based on these principles, what's the new design? So here, I've got a scale-up of a stent. This is pretty similar to the stent we looked at earlier, yeah. right? You've got a lot of crisscrosses, as you can see here. What we've discovered is that this type of design is actually not very good because it gives you disturbance of the flow. What might be better, on the other hand, would be a model that looks simply like this, a spiral. The flow going over this spiral would be a lot less disturbed and we think would be a lot better from the perspective of thrombosis. So what's next? One technology that I think is going to make a huge difference is 3D printing. So the idea, of course, is to 3D print a stent and tailor it to the individual patient. So if it fits perfectly inside someone's artery, then the blood will flow through it much smoother. Exactly, Clever. exactly. And you know, with 3D printing, we can actually print out just about anything today. We could print out a whole heart if you want. And in fact, we did. Here's a heart just for you. For me? Yes. As a present? You. Yes. Oh, awesome. Look, my own spare heart. So another thing we're actually working on is the idea of a smart stent. So these would be stents that would be instrumented with sensors that would detect all these problems that we talked about earlier and then relay the information directly to your cell phone or to your doctor. That's really clever. So I might get a text from my mum and then a text from my stent. That's right. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm off. I'm going to take good care 
of this little guy. Keep our hearts strong.